Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Manoj Web, where my goal is to make your HTML and CSS life easier. This time around, we're going to be having a look at JavaScript and how you can create HTML elements with JavaScript. Alright guys, let's get right into it. So, first as you can see, I have this basic page layout, which is kind of like a to-do list app. I have this text area where I can type stuff. I have this button, which later on is going to create a new element, which we're going to learn. And I have this MPUL list, which is an ID of list, which is where we're going to append all the list items to. I already have some basic styling applied, so if I add a, I also uh, added some basic styling for the list elements. So if I type hello, as you can see, this is the basic styling. I colored it red as well. So, first of all, what we need to do in order to create elements is to um, well, that's you don't need to do this to create elements, but since we're creating a to-do list app, we're gonna create these variables which are gonna store this text area, this button, and this UL. So if I type constant, and let's say I wanna store the text area, which is gonna be the value that we're gonna put in the li. So let's do what's the name? Note value is equal to document dot query selector, which I you can either do that or document dot get element by id so document dot query selector i'm going to select it by its id note we're also going to get the button which is an id of new note so it's going to be new btn it's going to be document dot query selector which has an id of new note so now that i've typed that oops let's get the list as well so we can append items on into it constant list is equal to document dot query selector list the id of list so now we have this basic setup where we got in some elements from the html let me now before we move on let me teach you how to actually create the elements so in order to create the elements, you can write document dot create element as simple as that, and then you can type the element that you want to create. So we want to create an li element which we can put into the ul. So this would create an li element, but all on all on its own, it can't do anything. You can first store it in a variable. So li element is equal to document dot create element. So now if we console dot log that li element, console dot log that li element but not that it's a variable so now if I go to the console right here let me just wait for it to refresh because it should technically let us see the variable for some reason it's not refreshing console.log yes I created the element let me try typing this again document dot query I might have spelled something wrong oh yeah that's that just goes to show that everybody can mis make mistakes here's the li element that we created as you can see it's just opening and closing li tags it has no content and you can add content into it by type well I mean let me just keep that and actually do it here li element so you can add content into it in either of two ways there's inner inner text which is you can add equal like hello world let's say and if you console log it now it's gonna be hello world um yes that's what it's console logging or you could do text content which is usually recommended instead of inner text because of some background stuff as you can see it gives you the same results but it's uh, recommended to use text content so now that we've got the text content, we now that we know how to put in text content into a new element that we create, how do we actually put it into the DOM or in the view? So we have this. Right now we create the element, but it's not doing anything on here. It's not showing up at all. So how do we actually make it show up? Well, that's why we got our list item. So if you do list dot append, we can write the element that we want to like give it. We can type li dot l. 
now in a moment it should pop up as you can see hello world so I would change it hello mom and yep hello mom so that's how you create elements there's some other methods as well but we're not gonna go that deep into it today so right now that now that we learned how to create elements let's create the to-do list tab so in order to do that what we want to do is first check for the click event listener on the new note button so let's add it that event listener new button dot add event listener which is a way of adding event listeners in your JavaScript add event listener of type click and then we want to run this function when it's clicked I could do the arrow function but arrow notice or function but I'm going to do it this way for now for those of you who don't know what arrow is it's just an easier way of writing it like this you can just write your functions like this I'll keep it as function just to make it easy to understand so now when the this button is clicked this function is gonna run and just to make sure it works let's console.log it works alright let's create let's wait for it hmm for some reason it's not working well actually it does as you can see if I click it it does give you the it works message so let me see when clear this yes clear free and you know it works it works so now that we know it works now what do we want to do when the button is clicked so we want to create a new element first the li element which we're going to give to the ul let me get rid of the console so first we want to let new element equals document dot create element of type li which is going to be a li element and since it created the element we can give it text content dot text content so now how do we know what to put as the text content so we need to get the value of this note if you just write no well that's not going to work because let me show you if I console.log console.log note well Let's see what pops up. Console.log. Oh, oh, yeah, I have to click this word to pop. It just shows you the whole element because that's what is selected. We don't want the whole element, we want the value of the element. And the way you can simply do that is just write dot value. So now that we've done that and it refreshed, I believe. If I do this, you can see there's nothing because we haven't typed anything. If I do hello world, hello mom, and as you can see, it can, that's how you get the value of it. So that's what we want the text content of the new element to be. New element, the text, text content is equal to that, what's it called, note value dot value. So now that we've got that, we can just go on and append that element to the UL. So list, that's what we named the variable, list.append. We can just write new element. And that should technically work for our to-do list tab. So if I write hello world, that works. If I write number one, I have to work on homework. Create new note that works. If I write number two, I have to create a website. As you can see, that also works. So now there's a problem. So whenever we create a new note, as you can see, the uh, the content that was in the note value is still there. We want that to be removed so it's easier and more well, convenient for our user. So the way we can do that is just writing note value dot value is equal to this so the node value just targets the value inside it's gonna make it equal that as simple as that so now if I were to type hello world this disappears and there's no content there anymore and I do like nice to meet you and as you can see no content there anymore so that's the main functionality of it and that's 
it for today's video. In this video, you learn how to create new elements using JavaScript and how you can append those into like the HTML, like an HTML element like the UL. You created your own to do app, which you can that which is actually pretty amazing. It took me like a really long time to learn that. So, congrats and make sure to hit that subscribe and like button and see you next time.